Oh, l shall we look at Dali? Uh, yes, we can look at that. I, I still don't know what it is, so please tell me about it. <laughs> Uh, so Dali is a portmanteau of uh, Salvador Dali and Wally, you know the Disney movie. <laughs> oh, that's how they came up with the name. Okay, yes. Uh, creating images from text. So they have trained a neural network uh -huh. called Dali. Uh, this is actually a very old version of. There's a Dali two now. I, I, I may have looked up the wrong. Uh, it's it's thing. already existed, and I never knew about it. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Basically, it's a neural network that is trained to generate images. So you can say, I want an arm armchair in the shape of an avocado. And, and it will make you, well, this. Or a storefront that has the word OpenAI written on it. Um, it's it's not perfect, but... Uh, but they don't... Oh, I'm disappointed. They don't have an online interface where you can put in text? They have one, but for Dolly too, but you can... Uh, you can apply to have access. I don't know how fast it is. I have seen people playing around with it on Twitter. Mm. Look, it's a cube made of porcupine. <laughs> it's a corp porcupine cube. Uh, it, it is magnificent. Um, there are some ethical considerations. Um, for example, if you ask it to show you a photo of graph of a CEO, it will only show you men. <laughs> and if you ask it to show a photo of a nurse, it'll only show you women. <laughs> but it was trained on what it had available. You can't blame the algorithm. <laughs> can't you, though? Can't you? Well, you can blame the training sets. I mean, the researcher put in the training sets. But uh... Yeah, but like, should we accept that, well, the training sets are biased no. and sexist, so our algorithm oh. is biased and sexist and we don't do anything about it? No, 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 no. But we should change the world, not the algorithm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, not... To change the world, you would need to start by changing the algorithm. Why? Well, okay, you wouldn't need to necessarily to start, but it is one of the things that needs to change. You're basically saying, well, the world is the way it is, um, yeah. so we can't do anything about it. No, we can do something about it. But it's well, not... One of the things we can do about it is having algorithms that aren't sexist and racist. But wait, but this algorithm was trained on real life data, right? Some scientists Presumably, yes. some stuff. Hmm. Yeah, so the scientists should change the selection. Um, but I guess if you randomly select, it will be biased because the world is biased. So we should really change the world. That's where you should start. Yeah, Sorry. but th does that absolve the scientists from all responsibility? Oh, no, no, no. The scientists could have taken some responsibility and looked for a less biased set. Yeah. yeah. Not all responsibility is absolved. But we should know that the world is sexist before we can change it. So it I mean, we, we know the world is sexist and racist. Um, I mean, it, it, it does well on... Uh, look, for example, you're a snail made of harp. Like, <laughs> Wait, now I don't see that one. It's a snail made of harp, or it's a harp made of a snail. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. Very <laughs> surrealistic. Uh, so yeah, but this is version one. They have a version two now. Um, let me f see if I can find it. Uh, there we go. Yes. Uh, so this is the new version, Dali 2. Um, it's an astronaut riding a horse in photorealistic style, for example. I mean, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is really, really good. <laughs> That is really good. It is. It, it is really, really good. No, it's uh, a, it's a really it's a it's a cool algorithm. But actually, maybe it's a good example of uh, how if you train algorithms on real world data sets, which probably is what happens, that they can take also the bad things that they learn from the real world. It's an important lesson when you want to make a an algorithm for a robot that's supposed to do things in the real world. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I, I very strongly agree. Um, uh, it is also something that is very often overlooked and mm. another thing I have heard reports of uh, where basically this thing you know these sort of things they employ an ethical board an ethical review board and the ethical review board makes certain observations and it tests and it says well you need to do this or blah, blah. and then the scientists go like yeah well, that's too much effort we don't do it ah okay it's kind of like the op what we talked about earlier uh, about you know the ethical oversight on animal experiments. 
If the ethical oversight says you're not doing it right, the experiment ends. Does the same thing happen in, you know, at Google, for example, or IBM? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And so far, reports are saying, no, no. If the ethical board is too critical, the ethical board gets fired. That's yeah. literally what happened at Google. Oh, this is what happens within a company uh, with yeah. their own ethical board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the only thing that keeps companies in line is a uh, good law. But yeah. but law is usually comes after if you have innovations like like because this is more innovative than animal experiments also. Mm -hmm. So law usually lags behind the uh, innovations. Mm -hmm. Another danger here is that there are now AI generated photorealistic photos of humans. And, oh, yes. Uh, you know, entities are using those to create fake accounts yeah. on LinkedIn and in Twitter and Facebook. Oh, yeah, that's, so that's good use. And also this um, where you can make fake voices and movies even, right? This is uh, you can make people mm -hmm. say things they never said. Um, so. Exactly. So let me uh, show this on stream. Uh, so this is the the smiling LinkedIn profile face might be a computer generated fake. Ah. Um, so there is a um, just there's now horrible. a new trend where basically companies are generating fake LinkedIn accounts uh, and then using those to approach people to uh, either get into quit a job or find a new job, move to a new position. I don't really understand the reasoning behind it. I think it's to create artificial turnover so that recruiters make money. Um, oh, what? but they, they're using AI generated faces to create these fake profiles. Wow. Okay. They're, it's possible to spot them, uh, usually because they're still completely symmetrical and you know, the eyes are always perfectly are. level. Ah. Yeah, 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 like there's, they're, they're not perfect, uh, but you know uh, how long until it will be absolutely impossible to tell? Yeah, yeah, they um, should just introduce some noise into their algorithm. They just forgot. <laughs> I, I I don't know, but yeah. So this is uh, it's gonna become very difficult in the near future to determine if somebody you're talking with is actually the person that you um, think they are or looks the way you think they do. Yeah. Um, it's the same actually in that matter with uh, deep fakes. So they can even do this now uh, on video streams. Yeah, yeah, this is what I said. Yeah, so I it's was possible to replace the face of somebody on your video stream with a fake face. Is Yoshi here real? Am I real? <laughs> or am I fake? <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting time. And all these AI companies, I really wish there was a little bit more ethical oversight. Mm, yeah, yeah, there, there they could use some uh, more ethical oversight. But like you said, if you have the ethical board within a company, the company also has the power to fire them if they don't like what the ethical board is saying. So, yeah, that doesn't We're, we're going to need some more laws, I think. Yeah. All right.